Hey guys, today I'm going to do a thermal paste removal and then reapplication on the CPU and GPU die. And this is on an HP Spectre laptop's motherboard. Uh, the motherboard is being replaced, but I just wanted to show what I do on a normal basis when I get a laptop in for repair. Um, as you can see here, that thermal paste job is just crazy. Uh, it's from the factory. They put way too much on. Um, it's been on there for years. It's running pretty hot with a 940M NVIDIA chip. so. That whole heat sink area is just really heating up. And when you add too much like that, it just actually ends up making it worse. So in this case, what I'm going to do here is take some 99% alcohol and just remove all the excess. Um, there's just a ton of it on there. I don't, I'm not sure why these big companies just glob it on there all over the circuit board. and uh, It's kind of crazy to me, but um, that is definitely not how you do it. Uh, just make sure you're using 99% alcohol. You really want to use something like that that has no water in it when you're doing the removal of the old thermal paste. And as you can see in that picture, that stuff was just all dried up and kind of physically burnt and um, just wasn't working very well anymore. The customer was saying that the the laptop was overheating um, or, or getting really hot, uh, you know, way hotter than it needs to be. And the thing about that and why I do this for free with my power jack repair services and other laptop repair services because heat is a big laptop killer and if you just let something like this go it might not die today or tomorrow but it can really shorten the lifespan of your computer so any computer that comes in um, I like to redo the thermal paste if it needs it um, sometimes there are newer computers and I can just tell by looking at it that it doesn't need a thermal paste but this is a you know a great example and why I wanted to make a video of what it would look like if you did need to redo the thermal paste. But this would be a prime example of one I would want to replace it on if it came into my shop. And here I'm just trying to get all the excess stuff off still. Um, when you Even when you're trying to remove that, it kind of moves that old thermal paste around and just want to make sure it's removed from all the spots of the motherboard. And so now here you can see that those nice clean dies and this is ready for, for some new thermal paste. And the thermal paste that I like to use and I recommend everybody use is Arctic Silver 5. You know, they're it's really high quality stuff, uh, pretty much about as good as it's going to get. And you don't need too much for these little laptop uh, CPU and GPU dies. Um, a little kind of goes a long way. And as you can see there, I almost kind of put like a little bit of like a BB size dot, um, just a small amount. And with my Arctic Silver 5, it came with this little tool uh, that you can see me using here. And I just use it, that flat edge of it to spread around nicely on the die. So I kind of take that initial clump and and try to move it around here. It takes a little bit to to get it all set properly, but really, you know, what you want to do is spread it evenly and smoothly across those dies, you know, as best as you can. And once I get that clump kind of moved around along the die there, I just try to smooth it out. And uh, you'll see in the picture below when I have it all done what it looks like in the end, kind of like a close-up thing. But uh, I'm just trying to flatten out that thermal paste so it makes good contact with the heat sink. You know, try to remove any kind of, you know, air bubbles or something like that. That's one of the main goals here is just to get that stuff you know flattened and, and nice and even on the die. And so obviously you have to do this for each little die here. Um, that Core i7 that I'm doing it on and then the, the GPU, the Nvidia GPU next to it. I know this card part is kind of boring, but uh, just what I'm doing once again, just flattening it out and making sure I get each part of that CPU and GPU die covered smoothly and properly with the thermal paste. And 
And if you don't have uh, this tool that I came with my Arctic Silver 5, you can use anything like a guitar pick or any kind of plastic uh, <clears throat> little piece just to, you know, to smooth out that uh, the thermal compound when you have it put on there. Now you don't want to use your finger, you can have grease on it. So as you can see here, it's just covered most of the dye, spread out the best you can. Uh, just try to remove those air bubbles as best as you can. And then here's a picture of you know what it looks like when it's all done in some better lighting. Alright, thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions, just leave a comment.